Hey everybody, so I'm at DCA, I'm getting ready to check in, do my international check in, and I uh, can't believe we reached this day, so looking forward to getting it going. Kudos and cheers, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, safely to my gate, uh, got a couple of bonus things today, I was expecting to have to uh, pay some overage fare when I got here. I still have been in New York. Um, didn't have to pay that. Uh, appears that it wasn't, didn't look like I had a, a bag going down. And so I was expecting to pay for my bag to go down and didn't get charged. And uh, after weighing my bag at roughly 46 pounds at home, uh, it came in at a tidy 43 pounds here, you know, in the terminal. So. You know, if that's pretty consistent across all the scales, then, you know, I've got seven pounds worth of souvenirs and stuff that I can get. So that's super awesome. So anyway, just sitting here in DC, uh, waiting for my flight, which is, I don't know, like three hours away. So uh, I grab a nap. So see you all in a bit. Air train. New thing. After sitting on the plane for 20 minutes waiting for Lord only knows AAA to find the key to the plane because they couldn't open the door, uh, I had to huff it a little bit. So I'm here at the air train. It will be appearing right there. And uh, this is three minutes and uh, we're going to roll to. Uh, Got to roll to the other. There's apparently two tracks here. This is the air train, JFK. So, again, I'll talk to you in a bit. <laughs> Standing in line. Zone two, we can get on the big plane. So, hotter and I'll get out in this terminal. So, hopefully, I can take some stuff off in the plane. See you in a bit. So, the good news is, I'm at the uh, row that uh, is kind of behind a bulkhead of the bathrooms, which is great, but, but you know, I've got basically just one seat on either side to the aisle. So it's not terrible. And then I've got, uh, you know, my swinging around here. I got nobody in front of me. Get back my seat. Be in good shape. I'll see you later. Yeah, what a service. The adventure continues. The video could only capture the smell of this tree back here. Whew. It's delightful. Could bask in its smell all day, as opposed to what I probably smell like. See you in a bit. Here are some of the images that I took at Constanera Sur Ecologica, which was in Buenos Aires proper near the water. Absolutely beautiful wildlife area. And here's my roommate, uh, Christopher. So back at EZE this morning, me and all of my friends that we're gonna do this cruise with. And uh, yeah, so it's an early rise this morning, but not a big deal. And uh, We'll be heading out on a charter flight here soon, and uh, going to get to see the Air Corps uh, Hotel, because that's where we're going to have lunch. So it's supposed to be a really great view from up there. So uh, see you up there.
As the pilot said, be sure to open your window uh, flap so that you can uh, see the, the terrain. We came through this bank of clouds into uh, Ushuaia and it was just an image of what was yet to come for this trip. Just an absolutely fantastic uh, mountainous area. All right, Ushuaia. It's definitely colder here. We'll see. Uh, we'll see the temperatures. I think they said 12 Celsius. Celsius. No, well, I'm not sure what that translates to. Something in the 40s, 50s maybe. So nothing I can't handle. Rock my t-shirt. See you in a bit. Ha, ah, rockin' my t-shirt. Obviously you can't hear me, so let me just tell you it's windy. And I'm now wearing a sweatshirt. And we're just in Ushuaia, Argentina. Yeah, it's cold. I'm falling down. <laughs> so good morning, day four, and uh, we're still in the Drake, and not sure if you can tell, it's snowing, and it's cool now. It's definitely cool. We're definitely in uh, some cold region here. And, uh, a lot of seabirds out this morning. As you can see, they're flying around out here. Out, but uh, totally awesome experience. This is just day day four. I can't wait. We're you know day day four is going to be the test. Hopefully uh, for breakfast, zodiac training, and, and uh, we'll probably get to uh, probably get to see an iceberg today, and um, you know, the first of many. And then we're going to actually get to, uh, to get to get on the uh, on the peninsula maybe if we get in early, which they think we will. So that's freaking awesome. And, uh, skiers and uh, I'm, uh, I'll get a, a link somewhere in the, uh, in the description down below um, to get you uh, caught up with them. It's really cool what they're doing, so scientific and stuff, and um, so I'm just about to freeze my, uh, my you know what's off here, so uh, I'll see you later. So I apologize in advance for the seasickness that some of you may be experiencing. Um, this was my cell phone pinned against the door of my cabin, well, the outside door, the, uh, the door to the uh, patio. And as you can see, uh, not moving the phone at all, you can see the tip of the, of the uh, horizon, as well as the horizon moving closer to the rail and further away from the rail. This wasn't in exactly a very rough moment. Um, there, are def there are definitely rougher moments. Um, and uh, with the, the slow uh, video, it, it it's not too difficult to to uh, to stay with it. Um, but the Drake Passage was, you know, fairly good to us on the way there, and uh, not quite as well on the way back. But oh, hello! Um, it was like you got splashed, but really it was the the phone just decided to focus more closely. Uh, as you can see, the seabirds are still out there, and uh, the uh, lens is uh, picking up all the nice smudgy stuff from the door. Um, 
but despite the Drake's relatively calm uh, experience at this point, we did have some fun uh, throughout the journey. One particular morning, I got up at six o'clock and uh, you know was out uh, up on the upper deck talking to uh, a fellow passenger, and uh, as I walked from one side to the other, the Basically, the boat dropped out from underneath me, and I became Air Jordan for about mm, a couple, two, three seconds, and prayed very loudly and, and long that the, the boat would come back up to my feet before I reached the edge and, you know, just kept walking out over the sea. So, but uh, as you can see from the next couple of clips, we did find ways to entertain ourselves through the Drake Passage, and uh, this was just a, a smattering example of some of the stuff that we did. Enjoy. Guys, some morning coffee? Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Woo! Get double! Did you get it? I don't like some American. Sorry, I'm not taking a picture of you. Do you have space? Huh? Do you have enough space for your... Oh, I'm plenty. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. From the stern of the ship, it would appear that we are not really rocking a whole lot, but as you can see, the uh, bottom drops out a little bit every once in a while. That railing gets a little bit further down, and... Uh, we're making pretty good progress, and uh, obviously the uh, the convergence of all the oceans uh, down here in the Drake is is magnificent, and the colors of the water were as aqua as they appear to be uh, that you've seen, and uh, we uh, we traversed the the Drake in in decent time on the way down. The masks off. We know that everyone is. The captain has signed off, and everyone is tested negative. Including the crew? Including the crew. Let's do it! Yeah! All right, people, I know you've been waiting. You see that out there? You probably can't see it. Yeah, see, now you can see it. There's that uh, big land mass I was talking about. It's, uh... It's, it's right there. That's uh, part of the peninsula. It's not Antarctica. It's the Shetland Islands, but we're here. So um, hopefully we're going to get off the boat this afternoon. And uh, when we do, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 